This episode is brought to you by Laguna Motors. We make car buying easy. Why waste time with Craigslist clowns and sled lots with trailer offices? Buy with ease. Buy with confidence. Come down to beautiful South Orange County and buy from Laguna Motors. Follow us at Laguna Motors and visit us at LagunaMotorsOC.com. LagunaMotorsOC.com. It's weird that I don't have to say www anymore. Nah, it's assumed. <laughs> You know, man, I was thinking back to when I bought my um, little shitty-ass Dodge Dart um, last year and how much of a hassle it was dealing with those fucking assholes in Ontario. You know who you are. Was that the one where the guy was like, are you buying today? And you're like, not really, no. Yeah. And he was like, all right, I'm going to go help other people. Yeah, I was like, dude, there's nobody else here. You're just going to go back to your picnic table that you guys all sit at when there's nobody here. Fuck you. But I, I did go back. But, you had to, though. That's why. Yeah, you I didn't did. know I did about your to. options. In in all reality, yes, that's true. Um, but I feel like I wouldn't have had, I wouldn't have got that kind of service at Laguna Motors. You know what I mean? Definitely not. They don't. Yeah. The I mean, especially with the quality of cars, they and they rotate their inventory. There's 40 cars, but they get new ones in all the time. I think we talked about it last time. They just put up a Tesla. Mm. That's so cool. Yeah, there was no Teslas on the lot where I went. <laughs> Fucking garbage lot. You're lucky if there was four wheel drive in yeah. that lot. Yeah, but that's that's the kind of life I'm living. So <laughs> I can't I can't afford the luxury that Laguna Motors offers. You know what I mean? I wish I could. They're fucking up there. But you I probably so- can. Someday I will. You probably can. There's a lot of affordable cars at Laguna Motors. You know what? One of these days, this podcast is going to explode. We're going to start making bank, and you know where I'm going to buy my car from? Laguna Motors. Fucking Laguna Motors, bro. That's, and you, that's you know that. where I'm going to go first? I'm going to go to Ontario yeah. and then shop and then be like, nah, and then pull up in my new car the next day and be like, sorry, I guess you didn't want to help me. Fucking IE wasn't good enough, man. <laughs> IE. Rude. Fucking garbage. You check them out, South Orange County, LagunaMotorsOC.com. Hadouken! He's on fire! Come here! It's me! Listen! <laughs> All right, man. Today, fucking talking about the best game of 2018, even though it came out in fucking October. Um, yeah, since... I, have, I haven't bought a game this early in a very long time. Like, on release week, almost, you know? I had it for a while, it's just I didn't have time to play, but I remember going, oh, it's out? All right, cool, I'm going to Target. Like, Yeah, I was, um, I was waiting to hear my friends' opinions of it, and then once everybody was like, it's great, it's great, it's great, it's like, all right, I'm going to buy it. That was that. Oh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I didn't, <laughs> we didn't even say. <laughs> Bury the lead for a solid minute yeah. there. Um, yeah, because you finally caught the fuck up and finished the game. It's. I think I'm just ADD when I play. You, we played online. I'm like, ooh, shiny, I and know. I go oh. look. Like, <laughs> uh, what's that over there? <laughs> Sometimes I'll randomly hit the both sticks, and then the the magic vision goes on, and then I see something sparkling. I'm like, oh, guess I gotta go look now. Like, it was are just you, too fun to explore. Are you an herb picker? Um, if I walked through it and it vibrated, yes, mm. I would go back for it. Um, and then I'd eat it because I'd get into a gunfight, and that's all I had left. So. <laughs> Dude, you did not stock up on anything, did you? No, no. I subsistence played that game all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. You're just a vagabonder. Mm-hmm. That's so funny. Yeah, see, yeah. I'm the I'm the kind of like I'll I stock the fuck up. I'm like the last thing I want to worry about is like needing food. That's so annoying to me. Yeah. Like I remember playing World of Warcraft. It was just like stacks. And Actually, stacks no. Of food. I did. I did stock up. I had plenty of bullets. Plenty of bullets, plenty of arrows. Every category of bullet had it. Like I would, I went to craft split point bullets, and I would bring my phone so I could just hold X and check like social media. It was great. I was having a great time. Now, did, when you would like go into a building, would you like meticulously search it? Yes, I'd, I'd hit everything. I'd, yeah, I'd pin the the stick to top left corner, and I'd just walk through the house and then loot everything. And then it's like you had too much. It's like well. All right, guess I gotta eat one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The one that it becomes annoying for is the premium cigarettes because you're trying to get those fucking cards, yeah. those collections. By the way, didn't get any of the full sets. No, me either. I, I think I got come, five. I didn't even I got come five in one of them. Close, dude. <laughs> like, how do you make it so difficult? I play and like, 
I guess I you got to play in first person. That's what you got to do so you can see everything. Or every time you go into a house, magic vision. I don't know what it's called. Eagle vision? Or is that? Um, that's Assassin's Creed. Dead Eye. Dead Eye? When you mash both sticks, it's like the hunting. Yeah. You can see the tracks. It's called, oh, is that called Dead Eye? It's, Eagle vision. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. But I, think I thought it, that was weird that they called it that. It seems like Assassin's Creed. Yeah, and it has, that's exactly what it's called in Assassin's Creed. But, oh, really? Yeah. Or maybe it's called Eagle Eye. Maybe. Oh, well, Eagle in, Eye, Dead in, Eye. In Red Dead. Maybe. Yeah. What are your... Um, so, how long did it take you to beat it? You got oh, It was pretty know. quick, that's why. In in compared like, to me, at least. In, like, real time? Like, play time? Or just, like... I guess overall, like, you, ha- how long did you own the game? And then you're like, all right, I'm done. I don't a know, couple maybe weeks? two weeks? Three weeks? Okay. I'm like a month in, what, October? November. Yeah, so almost three months that I've had it now, I guess. And I just beat it, so... Yeah, you, you were you were playing other shit, too, because you got the VR, so, like, you were playing that a lot. True. And then your dumbass like to go back to Call of Duty all I the time. To, yeah, I had to. I cheated this morning. I, I was just... I, I got upset, so I took a dry erase pen, and I dotted my screen for the first uh, five rounds, because I was like, all right, I got to recalibrate, and it works. You should do it. You're so, no, I'm not going to play Call of Duty. It was great because my KDR went from like negative seven to plus eight in two rounds after I put the stupid fucking dot on my screen. It's really a performance enhancing modification. <laughs> it's amazing. That's perfect for like no scopes, yeah? Snipers and shit. Yeah, quick scopes. No scopes don't really help because the box just gets bigger and the percentage and of where not it is. accurate. Yeah, but right. you can quick scope because the animation is the slowest part. So if you're mid animation, but you're, their head's on your dot, boom. But you know, I don't do that <laughs> <laughs> unless I'm having a really bad day. Then I do. Which apparently you were. I was because I was like, dude, I've been sucking at this game for three days already. Mm. So Mm-mm. put the training wheels back on, and, and I'm back. I'm back now. So. Yeah, I I like to go through all the houses, get everything, but like I'm not an off track person. <laughs> no, like you didn't a... do any of the side missions or. <laughs> I did, but that's what I was going to do. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I was on my way there. That's what I was going to do. Like, I'd find, like, those chance missions, which mm-hmm. I should have done more, obviously. It's like, fucking, they're, like, you're not going to come across it. Like, you might. I wonder. Probably. If you miss like, it, eventually. will it happen again? Yeah, I'm sure it just, it, like, spawns near you. you that's know? true. It's coded that way. Mm, yeah. Um... And then you know, the fucking map would let you know that, hey, you're in a legendary animal zone. It's like, all right, getting off my horse then. <laughs> um, Yeah, that's kind of nice. But, dude, they're so hard to kill. I shot. I I hunted I've down. i like three of them already. Really? Yeah. Man, fuck you. Dude. I hunted... <laughs> when you have the whole breadth of ammunition type, it, everything's going to die. Like, <laughs> Yeah. I used. What did I hunt down? I think it was an elk. It was either an elk or a moose. It was white. I think it was an elk. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I like hunted it down, you know, got a shot, focused right on the head. I don't know where you're supposed to aim, to be honest with you. And uh, I can't remember what bullets I was using. Express, maybe? I think that was like the most damaged one. Yeah. If know. it'll hit, though, the split points are uh, more accurate, I believe, than the express. Anyway, pull the trigger, hits it in the dome, it just runs off. That happened to me, like, it took me two tries to get the bear, the legendary bear, because I was like, all right, cool, I'll wait, dead eye, I emptied my clip on his face, and he just kept running at me, I was like, oh no, <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this, so How I had- you get it? What do you do? Uh, I just used the repeater, and then there's one that has like 16 rounds in it, so I put that different bullet, and I just plugged it in the chest as it was running into me, um, and then I'm- I think I only needed to let off like maybe two shots from the revolver or one of my handguns. Maybe it was a sawed off. I don't know. Do you think there's a way to just like one shot it? No, because I don't. I still got. It wasn't a, a level of pelt. It was just a legendary, legendary. pelt. So it doesn't so. even matter how no, you. No, no. So you gotta just and you open get, what up do you, on it. Do you get a paw from it or something? Uh, I don't remember. Because you get something from every legendary, and you can craft those trinkets. Yeah. Which is really what you should focus on, because those give you like actual. Um, ability like enhancements. I didn't do shit. any of that. Well, you did because it was one part was part of the. Did you do the circus? Uh, oh, by the way, we probably should have said 
spoilers coming if you haven't played the game and you plan on this playing episode's it. called red dead recap i like yeah but people are stupid i guess are red dead retarded so <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're um you just changed the name of the podcast <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah spoilers ahead now what was i saying uh, getting a paw and that I already did a legendary right. mission. Oh, so there's a side mission chain that the dude with the, the guy that has like the exotic animals, quote unquote. Yes. And you hunt him down. One's like a dog that looks like a fucking lion. I only did one of those, I think. Really? Yeah. You didn't go through the whole thing? No, no. Bro, no. you missed out on a really fun. I'll go back because I, I do want to replay it now. I'm going to. I already started it, but I, I've been playing online more. Online's so fun. It is fun. It's annoying, but it, fun. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> it's annoying, but a lot of times it's fun. Uh, I I am having the most fun with this version of Battle Royale than I was with any other Battle Royale that I played. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's because the maps are smaller, there's less people, It's I'm familiar with most of the areas, mm-hmm. um, but also that like damage is the exact same. And I love that, that you could get ganked with one headshot if they're good enough. So it doesn't feel like, oh, map, map, quicks, you know, quick game kind Mm -hmm. of thing. It's like, oh, you have to be good. You have to be accurate. And then it counts. So that's why I'm not good at it. (laughs) Dude, well, we found out last night. Was it, was it last night when that dude rushed us? Oh yeah, we were in the house. We we were hunkered down down in this little (laughs) fucking two, it was two rooms, two room, room, little, little shed. And. This dude just comes charging in, takes you out first. I shoot him four times with a fucking rifle, <laughs> still standing, charges me, tackles me, and kills me. I'm like, dude, I don't even. Yeah, that was that was Jason Bourne. That's what happened. Yeah, he came dude. into the house, cleaned us up. Um, uh, we uh, we would make terrible zombie partners. <laughs> oh, dude, we're we're gonna be the worst posse in the, in the history of Red Dead. Yeah, that's fun too, posseing up. But yeah. you brought it up that it's it's extremely inconvenient to try and join up into the same party with your your uh friends this is yeah like an extra step and a half almost I'm like, yeah i right, go to this game send mm-hmm. an invite create a posse like, mm-hmm. then send another invite yeah <laughs> it's like yeah there's um they're working out the kinks um it's still in beta i, I keep forgetting keep, that too keep like telling it's myself, red dead be- beta I keep telling myself it's still in beta but I mean, it's pretty good for it's a beta. Per- yeah, yeah. It's smooth. There's it's fun. It's a little glitchy here and there. Like there are points in the missions that we did online because uh, for those of you who haven't played online yet, it's a storyline just like the story. Um, but there were some missions that we were doing that like I couldn't collect my mail, I couldn't interact with an NPC, and it just got stuck. There was that little shootout that happened after we dropped off the carriage for no mm, reason. Yeah. It was just like oh, and I couldn't access my weapons, so. Little oh really? Thing. Yeah, oh. I couldn't even draw my gun. I was just trying to not stand still. <laughs> I feel like it was that was either a, a server problem or it was because there was other players around us, mm. and maybe we had to kill them or they had to go away. Right. Too many um actions going on maybe. in one spot because yeah. there was that dude that was just killing us for no reason. Oh yeah, and then he left. Right? <laughs> yeah, he just bounced. Stupid bitch ass. Yeah. Even though he killed us four times the week before. Anyway, um, how did you feel about like the whole game, dude? And now that you've gotten to sit on it, because it's pretty fresh for me still. Thematically, it's fucking great. Like the story, like even though you know the, like you pretty much know the end. If you played the first Red Dead and you know the story, or you even just looked up the story, yeah. <laughs> like I, I actually I did. I watched a recap uh video. Not before I played it, like, because I'm stupid, but after I played it, and mm. I was like, okay, yeah, I remember this. Um, so the story is great, and you know how it really ends, but you don't know. I mean, Arthur's story. Yeah, like you don't you don't know shit about him. I mean, I, they might have mentioned him like a little bit in the first game. I don't remember. Me either. Me either. I remember um, Dutch, mm-hmm. though. So. Yeah, so you, I, yeah, so that's the thing too is like you know that certain characters survive. So that's kind of boring, but at the same time it's like dude, how do they get through this? So that part's fun. I I liked watching Dutch just make bad decisions. Dude, it's it was, like 
It reminds me of Breaking Bad. I feel like Breaking Bad was really big. Um in the sense of like you saw this dude go from like nice normal guy that something happened to and now it's just like snowballed into he, drug lord. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's just he just he you just watch him become evil over the series and that's that's kind of what they do. Like you you start out you like him and then you start doubting him as Arthur starts doubting him. You're like something's fishy here, like something doesn't add up and you're just kind of like you don't know. You yeah, just don't yeah. know. Something's but, off. Yeah. Yeah. And that was, for me, like, I don't have a... Okay, maybe I do. But one of my big gripes with this game is that the main storyline, because you kind of know how it's going to end, always has this feeling of despair. Like, you're in the middle of a mission, and you know that it's not going to go well, that by the end, nothing's going to happen to plan, and that you're going to go back with less than you had before. Like it, it, that just, that kept repeating and there was never a point in the main story where I felt like I was getting rewarded for anything. Um, and that mm. didn't happen until the long as fuck, uh, epilogue missions. Dude. <laughs> Dude, the epilogue was the longest part of the game. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, but that one by the end is very satisfying. You, there is a very good closure to that story. And it's because as far as I'm concerned, um, that he's fighting for his family, a place that for his family to live in peace and it's for a greater cause. And so I feel like in a short time, the epilogue gave us exactly what didn't happen in the main story, but I feel like I should have been in the main story. Does that make sense? It should have been more fulfilling because I knew that I was just going to an inevitable end. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> I just wanted a more full experience because we agree that this is a very vast and deep game. It's very layered. There's yeah. little details in it that that um are supposed that are there to kind of just satisfy all of your needs. And there was one glaring one is like that just that dark undertone of like all right this is all for nothing so it felt like at times a waste of time at during the game yeah while you were playing arthur yeah yeah especially like once you find out like he has tuberculosis or got tuberculosis yeah yeah and then you had fucking 30 second cut <laughs> scenes of him coughing like i get it dude he's gonna die <laughs> like yeah dude and like when that happens like dude the game it just like it completely shifts like it's it's an abs like absolute like just I don't know man after that it's such a like somber and just like this is depressing as fuck yeah and I I like that maybe not like but it was cool that it kind of gave you a path to redemption like by the time you find out Arthur's sick and he's gonna die you kind of share his feelings of like, well, he's going to die anyway. It's not going to, there's, it's not going to hurt me to help this person at this point. I'm going to get nothing from it. So it almost lends you to end with almost a happier, more towards the, um, honorable side of the scale, just because of how somber the game takes it. Like it, he's going to die. Like, why not just do this now? You yeah. Know? Everything else was like, do you want to let him go for more money? It's like, yeah, fuck yeah, I want to buy that shotgun. And then by right. the end, it's like, oh, I, I have everything I need, and I don't need the money. Like, what am I doing this for? So I maybe I was led down yeah, a certain you, path. You do come to those points, especially like uh, there's some of those missions where it's like, go collect the debt from this family and shit. And, and there's like a family where like the dad died. Yeah and, yeah. and then you have the option to just relieve the debt. Or relieve the debt and give them money. Yeah. So it's like you don't even have a choice of like being an asshole in this situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at that point in the game, again, like I said, I had it. Like I didn't. There was no more guns that I wanted. I had plenty. And so right. it's like, yeah, what? I have three thousand dollars. What's two hundred dollars? And then. Right, but at the same time, like we both kind of played. It sounds like kind of the same arc of like staying honorable, and. Yeah, I was definitely um, more towards the middle, but. By the end of the game, it got so like, oh, I wonder if I can do this. Oh, that's a negative thing that I started also just mm. saying hi to people to raise my honor to kind of make up for those mistakes because to keep me on track. You know? So how did it end for you? Um, we the fought, main story, not yeah, the epilogue, obviously. You fight Micah, 
and then you fought him okay. yeah, yeah. And, on the cliff yeah 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 was it night yes okay and then i was i just was left to die yeah <laughs> yeah which is how, how arthur wanted to go yeah that's right <laughs> i should have when we did the spoilers we should have said bad western voices <laughs> <laughs> too so, but just the epilogue. Lie, just let me lie here. Yeah, I'm the moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect because I, I I remember exactly what that scene looked like because I beat it yesterday. <laughs> 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 but the epilogue took away so fucking long. I told you, man. It did. It, it's it, so long. It was longer than it needed to be. It was like the end of the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> just I, they should have done a different game. They should have. They could have. But I I I get it. Like, it makes sense, sort of, sort of, um, in the sense that, like, if it was intentional, like, the the emotional shift between the, the main game and the story, then they were aware that this whole fucking story seems dark, and you need a, a little bit of light to kind of be like, here's a full package. um, And then it also connected the dots in between. It was very, yeah. uh, what was it, Rogue One in, in, like, Star Wars, like, just, oh, I didn't know I needed things there. Mm-hmm. And it, mm-hmm. it was cool to see. Yeah. Did you watch the credits roll? No, I skipped it. Because there was like short cutscenes oh, throughout it. that. Shit. I got I gotta check it out on YouTube. It just it showed like the gang members and like the ones that survived what they were doing. Mm. Um and then it shows like the I don't think it's the Pinkertons, but like some law agency like asking around. Oh. Essentially. And at the end they show up, I think, like on the hilltop. Beside John's house, so basically a lead into the first game. Yeah, yeah, which was cool. I, I brought this up when we were chatting that it it does a good job of making farm work boring as fuck, so that you mm-hmm. kind of mirror John's internal feeling of like I just I need to shoot some guns, like I need to shoot some people. This ain't my, <laughs> this ain't my life. It's like yeah, yeah. It's like build this fence. No, I want to get on a horse and sh- headshot a bird. I don't know. <laughs> we gotta ride. <laughs> What's that lady's name? The oh, the the blonde one that you save at the beginning of uh fuck. What's her name? The one the gunslinger lady uh, in the game. Abigail. No, no, no. That's his wife. Um, come on, Abigail. So, Is that pretty so, close to Sophia? Jeff? I don't know. I'm trying to. No, I don't know. Fuck, I just played it too. I know. I can't. It starts with an S. Sadie. Sadie. Sadie Adler. Yeah. Sadie, Sadie Adler. Miss, Miss Adler. She sounds like she'd be a good Southern hospitality kind of girl. Me and my father just made some tea today. I'll tell you what, dude. That girl will suck your dick off. <laughs> <laughs> she, in that game, dude, she's a maniac. So she's crazy. you fucking watch out. Yeah. Dude, you think about that, like you run into her in the epilogue and she stabs some dude in the hand and she's working by herself. Like she knows that this place has his friends and she's like, no, nah, fuck you. Stabs his hands. Like, oh, hey, I didn't realize you were there. She's like gangster as fuck. <laughs> she's a, a Latina, I think. You think so? No. She's got to be. That's crazy. That's some fire. <laughs> That's some fire there. <laughs> Sadie Adler. <laughs> That's so funny, man. What was your, did you have a favorite mission or like a favorite like side? No. Side bitch? No. Really? I really didn't. There, there, what are the, like any that like stand out? Um. Cause I had a few that like, I was like, damn, that was dope. I, no, not, none of them were really stand out. Cause by halfway through the game, I was like, fuck, I do have to finish this. Cause like I knew we needed to do this episode. Oh, and no, I, I feel bad for rushing you. No, no, no. I, I knew how it was going to end. So like I said, just during the game, it was, it was, it felt like it just, there was no point to it. So you didn't want to check out the it extra felt like shit, a chore. Though? I did. I did all the side stuff when I got distracted yeah. with like hunting and fishing and like I got a legendary fish, which yeah. is a gigantic waste of time. Dude, it's like... so difficult. <laughs> it's so hard. You have 10 minutes of your life to dedicate to fishing because you're gonna. <laughs> it was Ridiculous. So stupid, man. Um, but I did all those ri- random, uh, side missions. Because... The strangers and stuff. Yeah. 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 I got robbed a few times. <laughs> yep. 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 Those sons of bitches. Rude too. Yeah, I want to go back for the see if the money's there. Yeah, because like that's... they they do it twice and tell you exactly where the money is. So maybe that's for a reason, you know. Mm. It's on the left next to the wagon. I had one of my friends. <laughs> I had one of my friends tell me that they died in the cave before they even fought Micah. They didn't even get the chance to fight Micah. 
Jesus. He just started coughing and he died in the cave. How do you do that? Just not eat the whole game? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I would really like to know if you can like starve to de- like I would I just want to I want to know what happens like when you freeze to death like if you're up in the mountains and you just are in, in like you just your health core goes away quicker probably and then you just die. I wonder if there's something interesting. <laughs> You get like a rage mode that you can, you don't have to eagle vision it. You can see animals because you have to eat like a predator. You just become a white walker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. You unlock the Game of Thrones feature. <laughs> That's, hey <laughs> man, Dead. they have that opening because in the first Red Dead, they did the DLC or like the expansion that was zombie related. I don't remember that. It was called. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> Zombies. That, that's what it was. <laughs> I can't remember. It was. Oh fucking god damn it! What's did it you, called? So what did you trick out your guns in uh in Red Dead? Because mines were fancy as fuck. I had engravings and like yeah, I, absolutely. I color coded everything. My my sawed off shotgun was my offhand weapon for most of the game, and it had like gold inlay in the carving. It looked like I was a pirate if you looked at my guns. Like everything was so ornate and decorative, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and not Western looking at all. Yeah, once I found out that I could from you, and then I had enough money. Like I did enough stuff to where I was like, oh, I have a little bit of cash I can spend. Yeah. That's usually what I do in games like this, is I go through the missions, get some money, go to the gun shop. Like, I did that in Fallout. <laughs> See, I wish I would have known that there was more, like, outfits you could buy or, like... Oh, yeah, that, that, that could have been made more clear. Cause until that you can you, craft. Yeah. Like, like, and, like that would have been, would have been like, oh, I need to just spend time hunting. Mm-hmm. I saw, dude, there's a recipe that requires an iguana skin. Huh. I didn't see an iguana <laughs> the whole game. I, I was looking for it because I saw it and I was like, "Where?" I don't see no fucking iguanas. It's like dude. hunting for Pokemon. It's weird. Yeah, you gotta get them. You gotta skin them. You gotta shoot them, and then they spook. You need that varmint rifle, or just a uh, tomahawk. I was hunting with that for a little while. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, dude. That's I was getting savage. like rabbits with a tomahawk. Dude, that is the Hawaiian <laughs> in you, man. <laughs> I wanted him to like go to skin the rabbit, but apologize to the rabbit, be like, "Sorry, fr- brother." <laughs> just, just pray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I um, I wanted a different outfit after I saw what you could do, which I didn't really see until we played online. Like. I'm mm-hmm. seeing some cool outfits online, and I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I didn't know you could do that. I'm running around with a fucking stovepipe hat and a vest. I don't give a fuck what I look like <laughs> online, dude, to be honest with you. Some dude look like a pirate. That's what I was like. Like, yeah. I want that. That's what I want. I mm. want a big fucking coat and, like, a bird on my shoulder or something. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look like Jafar. That's definitely going to require some gold bars. Yeah. That's a it's a fucking... weird. It's a weird currency, man. Like, yeah, it's it just, weird. And it just generates... They well, you get it like on missions and shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like as you're going through, it's, it's you don't get like a whole piece. You get like a little. It's like oh, yeah. I feel like I'm mining for Bitcoin as it's I'm like, playing for fucking Red Dead. Yeah, it's like you get your nuggets together and just like patty cake them <laughs> like a hamburger bun or a hamburger patty into a gold bar. Two half pieces. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I have the ability to smelt in my hands. Yeah, um, crafting was a little. Uh, Took me would take me out of the immersive ex- of experience once in a while. I kind of liked it, like especially like the doing the bullets, because I could just put it on, hold X, and just like go pour a cup of coffee, or just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. like there, oh, there's 200 rounds to the split. Yeah. I, okay, I think I just thought too much about it every time I watch it. Like when you mix up a tonic or something, he just puts it in, and then his hand goes right into the fire. And I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Like, <laughs> God, dude, disbelief. I mean, like, you gotta, like, suspend your... Yeah, which is fair, but if I'm gonna hit a rock and go flying, then you gotta mm. let him burn his hand, okay? <laughs> I started throwing so dead shit. bodies into fires. <laughs> yeah, I've tried that. Do they, like, burn, burn? Yeah. You know They what? don't char, though. They just get black. Mm, that's boring. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, uh, at one point during the game, I just threw, like, a bunch of fire bombs on the fucking, like, a top of a house... And it would burn, it burned or burned, but it didn't like burn down. Burn. You know? <laughs> it was just on fire. Yeah, it was just 
like where it landed. I was like, that's kind of boring. Yeah, those cocktails aren't nearly as impressive as they look. They mm. do very little damage. It's like, do you just run through that? Like, yeah, I just, yeah, I just use the guns, man. That's what the game's all about. It is. You know? Did you use, um, what was your rifle that you used? Did, were you a repeater? Did you bolt action with a scope? Um, were you using that? No, because I'm block? not. I'm not accurate enough with a scope because mm. it doesn't lock on the targets. Oh, you were, you're like 100 percent dead eye every engagement. Yeah, pretty eat tobacco. much. <laughs> pretty much. No way, dude. You gotta go for those those quick headshots. <laughs> but, dude, I like it when you can like dead eye like five people and you just bow 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 just five headshots. Like yeah, mm-hmm. that's dope. Um, yeah, I like the repeater because I think it was the quickest and it was also like very. Um, predictable, but it was weird. The mechanic for that is fucking strange, dude. Yeah, it's. I feel like it wasn't consistent. Yeah, I agree. You're like, oh, I didn't know. I, I thought I still had one more like pump because you have to pull a trigger, mm-hmm. fires, and then, and then pull, pull again, again, and it cranks pump. it. That's so strange. And it's not consistent because sometimes I would push it, and I feel like it would do both, and I'd yeah. put off two shots, and I'm like, that's not what I meant to just, do. Just have them do it automatically. Yeah. And like, I just want to be able to hold it down and just fire as fast as he can possibly fire. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like have it a, a time where like, it's like auto, <coughs> auto fire. <coughs> like, but don't make me have to pump it every time. How often would you fire from the hip? Uh, not often. Never. I, yeah, almost I, never. I forgot that I could do it. Yeah. Unless they were close to me at the oh, very end of the idea. game. Um, I just started tackling people and executing them. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's and fun. if you do it with a shotgun, head goes bye bye. Yeah, dude. Bye bye. It just turns into fucking dust. <laughs> I found that out later in the game. Um, I can't remember. I think it was a mission where like you, you get on a train and you're like going through just, you know, fucking killing everybody. And, Somehow got a shotgun and I just pumped it, aimed at this dude, and it did the kill cam and his head just fucking blew. And I was like, oh my God. Like, I didn't realize the game was that graphic. Like, yeah. I didn't Those think things that... sneak up on you. Yeah, dude. dude. You're like, oh, I'm just going to stealth kill this guy. No, you're going to stab him twice in the neck. And now Blood. he's dead. Yeah. It's like, oh my God. Oh, Jesus. So brutal. Um, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. Oh, you don't remember that? That sounds fun, but no, yeah, I, yeah. I have zero memories of that. Oh wow, that must have happened when like, uh, what's it? Fucking on the AMC, The Walking Dead. Mm. I was gonna say Day of the Dead, but so I, I think I feel like glitch. this was before. Like this, the game came out in 2010. Wasn't that Walking Dead like 2008? I don't know. <laughs> Probably. Zom- zombies were huge for a while. Zombie was the original battle royale. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, dude. Like, I watched this dope. Korean zombie. I've watched a couple dope Korean zombie th- things lately. One was a series that takes place oh, okay. in like... Dude, there's a fighter called the Korean zombie and I'm like, what are you... Hang on, what are you watching right now? <laughs> but okay, no, fuck that. I needed context. No, on Netflix, there's like some Korean films right. that are zombie. I don't know if they... I don't know what their thing is. Zombies, what the fuck's going on there? The first one... I feel like most um entertainment in general is a year or two behind the US internationally. Yeah. Like the same yeah. way comedy is, like it's very slapsticky in other places mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. And I think they're just behind. So like they're you're seeing our two thousand and ten in Korea. Yeah. But these are cool. I like p- Korean actors. They're fucking hilarious. But anyway, the first there's a show called Kingdom, I think is what it was called. I saw that. It was on yeah. Netflix. It was it's fun. It's cool. Um and then there's a movie called Train to Busan. Yeah. That's that, like was, dope. that, that was dark. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. cool. It was I liked it. it I cool, liked though. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Um I like movies that take twists and turns and you don't really know. Like movies now you don't really know what's going to happen and thrill and thrillers like they're more likely to just kill people you don't expect. Yeah, yeah. It's especially way since Game of Thrones yeah, came out. Yeah, I was just going to say that. <laughs> especially since Game like, of Thrones. You like You're this like, guy? Good. Oh, you can do that and people don't care like they're gonna watch because they're mad oh yeah. okay like, now they're like oh what the fuck are you gonna do now yeah hey guess what they're still gonna talk about it <laughs> they're gonna talk about how much they didn't like the ending yeah we're 51 days out right now as of recording this from game of thrones i believe very excited game of thrones also came out like right at the end of a i feel like a dragon theme kind of was was the thing when that happened um like it was dragons and then zombies because Game of Thrones is weird. It's like they couldn't 
Martin couldn't commit to zombies or dragons. It was like I'm gonna, mm. I like them both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna develop. Yeah, it's like I like iced tea and Mountain Dew. I'm gonna put it in the same cup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna call it an RR. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm shocked. I, I don't know what question I was gonna ask. I'm shocked by how much fun I'm having with uh, Red Dead Online, in despite it being a beta. Like. The uh, the gun rush is fun. The free roam is fun. Most seventy percent fun. Twenty percent annoying. Ten percent. Uh, oh, this is beta. Like you have to remind and, yourself ten yeah. percent of the time. And much more fun when you have friends playing too. Yeah. Like if you yeah. If you can playing. coordinate with yeah. someone. Um. I tried to steal a uh not steal but like deliver a stagecoach by myself. And as soon as I got out of the city, somebody just threw a Molotov cocktail at the stagecoach, and my mission was over because now I can't deliver it because it's on fire. <laughs> and I was like, "What a!" Di-. He didn't even rob me. He draw. He was like, "Oh, this guy's going on a mission," <laughs> and then the- rode away. <laughs> like, That's so annoying, dude. <laughs> what a dick. That's so annoying. Let me do my shit. I'm at work right now. Yeah, and yeah, the thing last night with the, I don't even know what you call them. Do we call them griefers? The yep. fuck do you call those people? I don't know. The They're one just, that was just knocking yeah. us down. Yeah. Was like, like, oh, there dude. he is. <laughs> All right, man. Like 15. I get it. It's 15 <laughs> times now. Just. Are you bored? How bored are you right now? Are you just waiting for your girlfriend to get ready? And you're just like, and, I'm going to off this yeah, level 10. And quite literally, those were like 120. Like they were level like 126. Yeah. That's something I didn't consider. Like it makes sense, but I didn't realize there was going to be a level up system online. Oh, yeah. It's like that's. But of course. I'm a gunslinger. But it makes sense, but <laughs> it's just it's just annoying because those people all have better like have better weapons and all that shit. Yeah. Like the, they have them. They do. And the balance like where, where were we getting shot? Shotguns. Shotguns were just like owning the whole gun yeah. rush thing. Like repeating shotguns is like a sniper rifle at this point. Yeah. And... Yeah, one shot kill essentially if it's a decent shot. Yeah. They got like we were saying, they got some kinks to work out, but it's still in beta. Yeah. What's the? I mean, are you gonna play another Red Dead? I feel like after this Red Dead, I'm kind of Red Deaded out. What do you mean? <laughs> because I feel like now between Arthur and John, I got a whole story in that world. They need to remake Red Dead Revolver. Yeah. With the same mechanics. And, and then, yeah, and then maybe they can do, like, an offshoot of that again. You cause what did, Red Dead Remastered is what you wanted to. Yeah. That's a great. Rockstar, hello. Hello. All at the Game Boys, Red you Dead. Could do, <laughs> you could do Red Dead Revolver and then the original Red Dead Redemption in the same pack. You could sell it for, like, 80 bucks. Yeah. Well, you can only sell it for 80 bucks if you put it in a tin that has, like, makeshift bullet holes on it. Nope, that's 120. <laughs> that's, that's way more. And then when you open it up, there's a bandana that you can wear. Oh, dude, duh. <laughs> and it's a Rockstar one. It has a Rockstar yes, logo on it. Yes, and a keychain that's a split point forty five. Dude, I'll pay whatever they want for that. <laughs> that's a dope bundle. Yeah. that's a, And maybe a, a real, like, fucking papyrus map. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. a $200 gift set right there. Oh, yeah. At least. I would pay it, too. Yeah. That'd be dope. But yeah, I feel like the old game, because I didn't play Red Dead Revolver. I remember when it came out. That Me was too. huge when it came out. But I don't think a lot of people remember it. I don't think a lot of people played it. I I remember people. I didn't play it, but mostly because mm. I didn't have like the hardware. I, I knew when it came out. So. Yeah. Huh. But I, I remember it was in like the official PlayStation magazine. It was everywhere. Cause, yeah. Plus, that's just a cool name, Red Dead Revolver. Yeah, like, for sure. So, I don't was know, fun. was Western done? Because there was Call of Juarez, which was one of the first Western games, too. Hmm. But I think Red Dead Revolver was one of the first of that. I have no idea. Period. So, so uh, we witnessed, um, or we're witnessing right now, video games, spaghetti westerns. Well, maybe not spaghetti westerns, because they're not silly, but just the western. Because um, I'm waiting on ninjas now, like, still. <laughs> ninjas in the western <laughs> setting? <laughs> If that's what it takes, if it has to be some fucking Shanghai noon bullshit where the Chinaman comes to, to the U.S. and gets stuck, fucking fine at oh this God. point. That's so funny. I love that movie. Me too. Shanghai Nights, that spotted yeah. dick scene, I'd die. I was probably like eight. but <laughs> Some spotted dick. <laughs> some what? Because <laughs> Owen Wilson just whispers all his line. What, what, you, what do you mean? What did you just say? 
Did you hear it? Sported dicks, eh? It's crazy. <laughs> oh, Owen uh, Wilson. I liked him from uh, Wedding Crashers. That'd be a fun game. Wedding Crashers Hitman style. Like you have, you're in the middle of like a wedding and you have to kill someone. I've been thinking about like how to insert games into different movies now, just mm. because I get because of the other episode. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that's yeah. <laughs> yep. What game or or uh, who would you put into like the Red Dead kind of engine and play that kind of story, that immersive, that open world? What do you mean? Like I would want. Like a superhero, I want to live his like kind of Red Dead boots on the ground, like his last week of his life or something. <laughs> like a death of Superman almost, where there's like impending doom. I don't, you don't, you never play as a, a hero that really dies. I was, cause that's what I was going to bring up when we brought up Game of Thrones is that like there's not a whole lot of games that are outright like, hey, your main character is going to die and, and you still play it. And they make their, well, but you know that with Red Dead. Yeah, yeah. But I was just thinking, like, can you think of another game oh. where you're like, you you go in knowing that this is a very, this is a closed story. Like, this is gonna, you're not gonna spawn a trilogy off of Arthur Morgan. You have one. Do you know what I'm saying? I just I, thought it was. I original. do know what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'd have to think about it more. <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. I don't know. You said there was a Call of Duty game where the guy died at the end. No, yeah, but you didn't know. That was the thing. Like you went in as a soldier, and you didn't That's realize right. that by the end, you're like, "Oh, this was for nothing," or, or mm. I was doing nothing. Like, um, yeah, yeah, you're right. That is special. Yeah. And um, part of the why it stood out for me though is because I think I mentioned this before in Metal Gear Solid Five, the Phantom Pain, like you are led to believe you're playing as Snake, but by the end you realize that's not even Snake. And you're like, I just put 40 hours into playing Snake's story, and that's not Snake. I, you can go fuck yourself. Like <laughs> The wool was just taken over. I wasn't happy about that. So it's like, if they told me outright that you're not playing as Snake, I don't think I would have played the game. But they Red Dead is like, hey, you're not playing as John, and you're going to die. And I was like, I'm still in. <laughs> like, <laughs> I uh, Oh, man. I don't want to say anything that... That game that you loaned me, A Way Out? Oh, yeah. It takes a twist at the end where you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> and it gets re- it gets crazy. It's shit. like, oh, my God. All right, I guess I have to play it. It's I- good, man. It's surprisingly good. It's not even mine. Alex brought it over, and we were going to play it. That was the time he was like, let's do, um, let's play PlayStation. We can do Dungeons and Dragons. Mm-hmm. And then we realized, oh, you can only do one. You can only do one. Yeah, and we never got to playing A Way Out. If so. you're D&D, doing D&D, that's all you do. Yeah. D and D uh, in the Red Dead engine would be uh, fantastic. Like if you could just have a world builder and you throw skins on it, and I mean, I guess those are mods. There has that has to exist, right? I mean, they have like a online. M- I mean, an MMO, a D and D one. But I want like the same mechanics i just i really like how this game controls how the world feels like i told you earlier Mm, like when you're riding in the the expanse it feels like a big expanse and then as soon as you hit town the way the camera changes and it puts the perspective almost behind you it puts you into the world where you walk into the saloon and you're like oh no this is i'm in a building you know i don't feel Mm -hmm. like i'm in a level i'm like oh there's upstairs downstairs there's like six different rooms i gotta go loot all of them and dude i think like a really well done RPG that way, like a world, like a fantasy. Yeah, would World of Warcraft fun. would be dope. You, yep, you, yeah. <laughs> if it was like super realistic and shit, yeah, yeah that would be crazy. Ground level raids and stuff, would, yeah, from like Red Dead perspective, and then maybe even going in first person. That'd be dope. That'd be Cast crazy. in magic first person, yeah, with your VR headset, your Oculus Rift. I mean, because... I feel like that's kind of what the Elder Scrolls does. With their online stuff, that's pretty much what they do. I mean, it's not as beautiful and yeah. as smooth and as clean, but, dude, it'd be so hard to do that. On that scale? Yeah, yeah. and then to have, like, detailed mechanics, too. I don't know. Like, Red Dead is pretty basic, but when it comes to, like, fantasy RPGs, there's a lot of... Like mad, like magic just makes shit weird. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. That like anytime you start having magic spells and shit, it's like all right, you kind of got to alter how like your character is able to move. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. really not this. I don't. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. Uh, it's just different variables with like because it's not they're not all predictable. It's not like a you're throwing a rock. You're casting. Yeah. Timings and, are different. Right and. How like aiming would be hard. Like if I'm trying, am I am I I'm trying to, like just target. Like there would need to be a targeting system as opposed to like, fuck. How do I put this? <laughs> like in World World of Warcraft, when you target, so, like you click on someone, you target them, it shows up. Like their health shows up on the screen, and you have them targeted regardless of like where you're looking. Mm-hmm. But like in a game like Red Dead, you like look at them, and you have to be on them with your reticle for yeah. you to be target them. So, like, if you're in a healing situation and you're, like, in a game like Red Dead, the tr- or the aim is always to go to the enemy. So, it's like, how do I... True. I don't know. They're, You'd I mean, have to, I guess... If they, they would could, figure it out. Yeah, but... if they could make it so that your character, that the, is the do- default perspective. Like, if you were a, a healer, so your camera starts far out as soon as you load the game up, and you have almost different play mechanics, then that could, that could work. That's a PC only thing, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Fuck too much. Um, yeah. and the console, uh, I'm surprised by how it, this game takes advantage of the whole. I feel like it really does take advantage of the PlayStation as a, a unit. Like there's no leftover memory or oh, anything. Oh, it works hard. There's, yeah. It's, yeah. when I run the game for the, like when you first put it in, it's got to load everything. Like I'm surprised it doesn't just hover off of my fucking, <laughs> like the fans are From so fans. loud. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, true. Are, are you trying to blow my house down right now? Mm-hmm. Um, but I like when I know that the game's working hard because then you look at it and you're like, oh, yeah, that's why when I step there, it gets, you know, it sinks in or my horse shits every time I get off. I know. And then it's so funny because, like, you know there are people where, like, you know how sometimes you might turn a corner and it doesn't, it's not loaded entirely and mm-hmm. it's, like, just that flat surface that's nothing? Yeah. It's yeah, just... yeah. That happened to me with the hair one time. Like, I had just gotten a haircut or something mm-hmm. and in the cut scene, it was trying to render the hair so mm-hmm. it was just blank for a second. Yeah. And I'm like, I get it, dude. That yeah. happened one time but, in nine hours. But you know that there are people that are like, what the fuck? Dude, <laughs> learn to fucking program a game, rock. So you fucking assholes. That's true. Fucking, those are the assholes. Yeah, we totally got off topic because I didn't get to ask you the question because I didn't have an answer. But what was your standout mission for Red Dead? Oh, um, dude, I like the ones, like the one with the professor that had the boat the first time you saw him in Saint Denis, and then later on he's at his little fucking laboratory up north. And you, he has that tower, and he has the robot that he makes. Oh yeah, that was cool. Um, the one, the circus animal guy was dope because I didn't tell you at the end of that one, you shoot a lion, like a real lion. Oh shit! Yeah, and you take its paw and you make a trinket. That's like it's like a tutorial for making those trinkets. Ah, uh, like I, that's I, why I didn't I, do it. Yeah, like. <laughs> I, was, I like when you said like I was like, dude, you fucking totally missed uh, like pretty much a free trinket. Mm. Um. And then there was one, the one that was probably my favorite was the veteran. Which one was that? Um, there was a guy, I want to say I saw, like, came up with to him on the side of the road. His horse had ran off and he had a bum leg or some shit like that. And so I chased his horse down, brought it back, and he was like a war veteran. And then he invites you to his cabin and he, like, takes you hunting. Oh, and, like, yeah, talks yeah, yeah. to you. Did you come across that guy? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. pretty early on, though. Oh, really? I because so. mine was later on, uh, so it, I was, think it was like, like the first half of the game. I think I ran into him. And like from for that point in the game, this was after like the tuberculosis, and like it was getting toward the end of the game, so it was more like you felt. M- yeah, it was like meaningful. Connected. Yeah, it was weird, man. And I, I like it was so perfectly timed for that. So I I really enjoyed those missions mostly for that reason. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I like that character. I I liked how <clears throat> despite everything feeling so bleak the whole game that right at the end everything felt like it had meaning because you were trying to help John. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. like and then even right as you come out of um get into the epilogue, it, there's this feeling of like you're very grateful for everything that you have at that point and you're like, yeah, I'll go shovel shit. Yeah, absolutely cuz that dude just Arthur, died for yeah. me, and it's like it. It really is an emotional this... game. <laughs> yeah, it's like I gotta make this work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
and because you grinded that out and you died for him, it's it's I don't know. I, who's I connected the, with it. Who's the main character in that? I mean, I mean, now you you say that it has me thinking. Like, who is the main character in this game? I mean, you think about it, it's John. I mean, that's who the game is really about. That's true. Because uh, you meet. Where do we run into John on the Be- hill at the very the beginning? Like the, at the in the snow, right? Yeah, gets, you go find right. him. That's your first that's right. mission. And then that kind of sets everything off because Dutch is like, "Well, we got to get here because." fucking blackwater and what's weird is like arthur like doesn't like john mm-hmm. at the beginning of the game yeah. always calling him stupid and shit yeah, yeah, and like yeah. talking shit to abigail behind his back <laughs> it's like dude are you trying to fuck her or what's going on <laughs> so yeah that was weird it's like i'm gonna take jack fishing <laughs> yeah come why on, come on jack let's go fishing i love that mission was fun because the Pinkertons. that's when the pinkertons show up for mm-hmm. the first time you're like oh shit yeah and it was cool that in the epilogue when John finally takes Jack, his son, for you fucking spoiler people, that um, Jack actually goes, yeah, un- I remember Uncle Arthur taking me fishing. You're like, oh, I, I remember yeah. that too. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was there and I went, this mechanic for fishing is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't have hate for it until the legendary fish. Yeah, thing. it got tiring. Yeah, I was like, my hand got tired from going yeah, in circles. I, started, I just palmed it and I was like, uh, <laughs> like wax on, wax off bullshit. <laughs> Because I'm Asian. Yeah. Fun. Well, if you had to give, because, I mean, we can close this out soon, but if you had to give a number, 1 to 10, Game Boy's rating from William Henderson for Red Dead Redemption 2, what would you give it? Or we could go categories. When game I'm going to go 9.5. Overall, 9.5 yeah. of a game? If I, if, I mean, it depends on like what how specific you want to get i would go as as close to 10 as you can get realistically without being perfect because it's not all in all it's not perfect like i don't think any game ever will be i don't think they can be Hmm. i just i think when you have to program a world like that i don't think it can be perfect when you're given like limitations and stuff yeah it's too much um i don't know i guess like as it stands, it's, you, like I said, it's as close to perfect as it can get. But, dude, it's like, what are we going for here with video games? Are we trying to make them as real? Do we always want to know that it's a video game? Or do we want to get to the point where it's like, I can't tell if that's a real person or not? Because if we are, then we're pretty far away from that still. Because it's pretty obvious. Especially with, like, the landscape. The, the ground is very flat. Yeah. Um. Even though it, like a few inches in texture, would it like especially like on roads? If there was like there's paths, but it should be like rutted, right? Right. You know, it's just small things like that. I that don't know, fun dude. things and extra. Yeah. But that would take so <laughs> much extra space. It's like, oh, do you want? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Do you want two discs or you want <laughs> six? So, dude, Half Life was like six discs. Every computer game was like six. That's days. true. <laughs> Half Life Two, though, I, I remember buying it. Going, aren't we past this yet? Like, bro, remember computer like passcodes? Yes. That you had to put in. When I got Call of Duty, I was putting the game on my computer and I was typing the thing. I kept getting it wrong. I was like, "What the fuck?" I was getting so mad. Turns out I was hitting O instead of zero. Oh, so. that's a common mistake. Then you have to get that mad to realize it. Oh, that's yeah. a zero. I think my mom had to help me. <laughs> <laughs> was this last week or <laughs> uh yeah. yeah i would um so nine and a half from william henderson i i'd give it a nine and um it sounds like your point five is in the details in the textures yeah. in the visual my it's and a, a little bit in the gameplay there's what? a little there's some parts where it's just like i just i fucking stop 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 like do just do what i want you to do you know what i mean yeah, or like, yeah, like trying to stop your horse precisely. You're like, all right, now I have to ride in circles twice. Like, <laughs> Or just like sometimes like shit, sh- like when you try to loot certain things, it's like if you're not standing in the in a particular yeah. spot, it's hard to get, or you're not looking at it. It's like, dude, just yeah. fucking. There is points, yeah, I had to go into first person to like loot things off the table and, and stuff. It got a little Oh, really? Clunky. See, I never, I never had that. I, w- I would just have to like move a lot. Yeah. Well, I would always run into the, oh, you're too full. So I'm like, all right, fuck, where's the other one? And then... Mm. It's just quicker if I go first person and grab yeah. that. What I did like is that, like, if you were searching, like, drawers, you could just hold square and yeah. it would just go. Cycle through. So that, that was, that was nice. Yeah. The but, cinematic camera, the, that auto ride, basically, it's a little slower, but it's, it, 
it's a game changer in terms of gameplay because mm-hmm. you can like, all right, I'll check out for a minute. Cause <laughs> which that's fucking, we found out is key like online. Yeah. Everything so far online. Yeah, dude. It's like, okay, go way the fuck over there now. Yeah. And then not, not, not only is it far, you're, you're worried about other like other players yeah you're, you're like, like all right i gotta go through like the mountain almost <laughs> yeah dude like <laughs> then you're like okay there's the route we take well if we go way the fuck up here we can yeah. just go around everybody <laughs> like, yeah because like the fucking himalayas and we're trying to assault another country or something yeah because like other players are just so it's so stressful it's yeah. like you find when you're like you you aim at like do I shoot him? Do I shoot yeah, him? You almost don't even it, look at him. Don't look at him. Just yeah. <laughs> look down. Keep walking. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> yeah, because like it's like I either shoot him before he shoots me. That's how it feels every single time. Yeah. And they need to like they need to do something about that. I agree. I feel like I don't know. Are we gonna do another episode of like on the online? We can because we we still have to retalk about internet yeah. gaming. We can do it then. I feel like we need to get to like level. Th- 30 before we could do it yeah i agree that's what i yeah i wanted to play it more that's why i've been trying to play online more um it's just i don't like playing solo yeah it's it's not as fun and you're too vulnerable almost yeah because most people will find a solo person like oh no one around you (laughs) perfect when you see that little star that's the posse leader you're like all right like i don't want to i'll go the other way yeah yeah yeah. there's more (laughs) with him you know so like maybe you just start a posse and don't invite anybody Oh, good idea. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see that. It's way more fun with friends. Boys. Boys. It's way more fun with friends. <laughs> Just there's your yeah. tip and trick. Have a friend to yeah. play with. <laughs> play with your friends. Luckily, it's a super popular game, so it shouldn't be difficult. Yeah. Yeah. As um, long as you don't have poor friends that don't have Xboxes. My, my main, main game rating, again, nine, and it, it's not for visuals. It's not for textures. It's because, like I said, the emotional journey that you take through this game like they spent so much time and everything else i feel like the writing was a little sub par in terms of the arcs that it takes thematically throughout the whole thing it wasn't there was never like really like one like hype moment mm-hmm. you know like even the end fight was like okay like i'm gonna beat him i don't know it wasn't like soup it was a little bit anticlimactic and i think that's kind of what you're getting at a little bit yeah and the fact like just make don't call it an epilogue if it's going to be that long. Like, have just make par- it have parts to it. Part epilogue, of the game, part or, one. Yeah, or just don't make me play through it and be like, "Good luck, guess where it ends." Like, Chapter eight. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. I mean, I do get why they call it an epilogue, but it was well. How much? Like, how many hours do you think of like legit it's game? Probably another four or five at least. You think? Oh, see, I thought it was more than that. No, well, I I just I didn't do any side stuff and I skipped a lot of the cutscenes because I was like, where does this end? Mm. And so I think because of that's where the writing I said like failed. There, it was hard for them to make a good conclusion to it, so they tagged on a, an epilogue, and so it loses a point from ten. But hmm. just just on a quality of story. What writing. if you just ended it with Arthur's death? Um, got I would no, no. If it ended with Arthur's death, then for sure would have got a lower, probably an eight, oh. if not a seven and a half. Because but, you do have that experience that I'm looking for, but it's tagged on on the end almost as an afterthought. Yeah, here's the here's the thing. Um, with with Rockstar games, they're always like, all right, we have to find a way that they can do like free roam. So that was that to me was like their way of letting you do that while still killing the main character. True. They, they could have just let that. They could have let Arthur die. John gets away. Great. Now you have your free roam. You know, he hides out for a little bit, so he, you have a yeah. little shack for him, and then connect the dots on your own, or be like, this all happens before he gets, before that game. But again, yeah. they, they very much so, like, uh, Rogue one did. It was, I get it, but... It could have been a DLC. Mm-hmm. That would have been dope. Yeah. But that probably would have gotten some backlash, and then it would have been a, oh, you guys know this was missing, so now you're making us buy it. Why don't you just give us a full game? Well, let me make it free. Yeah, they're not gonna do it. <laughs> Let's be real. That's not happening. Um Oh, I forgot I almost forgot to bring it up again. This is the second episode we've done about um Red Dead and I didn't bring it up. But the fucking the app, dude. Yeah. The fucking Red Dead Companion app, that's what it's called. Um dude, I love this shit. Make, it's, it's very useful. It's so great. Especially like on my iPad. It's a I don't have a big iPad, mm-hmm. but it's a nice size screen and like having the map on it, like you yeah. can bring up, it's like having a, 
like a heads up I display. I was going to say mini map, but it's not a mini map because it's bigger than the mini map. So yeah, it's, yeah. It's like it was a, really helpful when we were playing online and then you were basically our navigator. You're like, yeah, there's no one following us. We're good. You yeah, know, you yeah. Can, you have a wider view and I can just kind of direct us. It was cool. Right. When I do like waypoints, I'll, I'll zoom out so that I can see like I'll see me in one corner and then where I'm going in the other corner mm-hmm. and I can just watch my whole route. And it's, it's especially nice with the cinematic. Because you can go cinematic and you can still see where you are. Yeah. Because that's the problem. Like the the mini map goes away in cinematic mode on uh, on the game, so you have no idea how close you are or like should I slow up or why like, is it slowing down yeah. or am I not holding X hard enough or exactly, something? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So it's it's nice that way, um, and like just not having to go into the map, dude. Yeah. You can set your waypoints. All, everything shows up. You can move it around. Yeah. Looking it's, at your map while there's people around you is a big dice roll. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, even during like the single player, like you're saving, dude, it, it's so annoying to get to the map. It really I mean, is. It's so annoying. But if you don't have that, it, it's, it's necessary. Yeah. I mean, so it is a game changer. It I did play with the uh, the app for a little bit when I was online because I I realized that like oh I don't have time to go in and and look at my map. They're chasing me right now. I have mm-hmm. to pick this up on the fly. So that's why I did it. Very helpful. Um, if I had to rate the online play right now, I'd give it a seven. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, there's some bugs. Uh, yeah. It is beta. Um, good job. I'm having a great time. Yeah, it's fun as hell. I yeah. I want more trains though. There's not I, enough yeah. trains to rob. Is that a mission? You think we just have to find a mission where there's a train? It should just be a thing. Yeah, I agree. Every yeah. hour or so, there's a train. Well, then everyone no, would no, more often. It should fucking be every 12 minutes, dude. <laughs> oh, so you want Riverside level of train activity? Yes. yes. <laughs> You're like another fucking train? Yeah. Ah, dude. It's I doesn't. It, I don't even notice them anymore. Uh, <laughs> um, this app also is cool. Like you can view the man, the game manual. You can uh, you can buy the strategy guide. There's your microtransaction. Mm-hmm. Um, you can view like all your progress throughout the game. Or, but what happens when you do that is it takes you to like a website. It's not like within the app, so that's kind of annoying. I wish it was more just in the fucking app. You yeah. don't have to leave it and bring up websites and shit. Um, same thing with like a catalog. You can buy shit online, like on my iPad or on your computer, and then it'll show up at your camp. Yeah, um, I bought a lot of bullets like right out the gate, and they keep getting delivered. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, I don't stock up on necessary things, but I got you on bullets if you need it. Like I got plenty of bullets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, great app. I'm very. I am. Uh, I'm surprised that it works as well as it does. Pretty um, seamless. Yeah. Pretty, no lag. It's live updates, streams. As long as your internet's good. I feel like they tried to do something like this kind of a Grand Theft Auto, but it didn't really, it didn't work. You think because the technology the wasn't there yet? I don't know. Because, like, I mean, you're running it on Wi-Fi and LTE at this point, and so data transfer is a lot higher, and there's a lot of data to be transferred if you're trying to connect a game like Red Dead to, I would imagine. I don't know. I don't know how to fucking work computers. I'm surprised they don't do, like, like Grand Theft Auto <laughs> online had, like, a quick waypoint thing where it's, like, you can go to like the clo- closest like ammunition for like guns and shit, mm. like the closest whatever. Like I'm surprised they don't have something like that with Red Dead. I mean, it's it's a lot. It's a much slower game though. It is, and you do have to run away from people sometimes yeah. and hope that they just stop chasing you. But with that update, oh yeah, things will change. We might have to do so. another episode with the update, but hopefully by then we're level thirty. We can do this on internet gaming and kind of double. Oh my up. god! If we're gonna be level thirty by the twenty sixth, we need to fucking <laughs> hunker down. I'm do gonna some to, microtransactions. I'm, that I'm to gonna do call off sick and, <laughs> and get some gaming in. Um, all right, is that it? I think so. That all was right. fun. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button on the Buddy System. Uh, podcast network follow us on instagram at the buddy system co uh at the george f and myself at dust slim henderson and uh tell your friends that like video games actually just tell everybody we do we we tell everyone to so do it for us as well yeah so yeah so thanks for listening and uh we'll see you next time on game boys <laughs> Come here! It's me! Listen!